Hi, this is Natalie Lucier, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to test your website on different platforms by trying out other browsers, tablets, and even mobile devices. So I have been making websites since I was 12 years old, but let me tell you, things have definitely changed, especially with mobile and tablets and all these other devices changing how people build websites and view websites. So let's dive right in. So you're used to going to your website and seeing it on a big screen, whether it's a laptop or a desktop, you kind of know what your website should look like and how it should operate under normal circumstances. But what happens when somebody uses their smartphone or tablet to look at your website? Let's take a look at a free mobile phone emulator, which is mobilephoneemulator.com. And the first thing it'll do is ask you how big your actual screen is so it can show you a version of what your site will look like on a mobile device. You can play around with the settings here by going to horizontal, which will kind of show you a very different look and feel of the website. And you can kind of scroll and take a look at what that would look like if somebody was in that mode. You can also switch to different devices. So if you want to try a completely different phone and then go back over here, you'll see again what your site looks like using all these different phones and even a Blackberry and all these other devices, which is really useful so that when you're creating your website, you can get a feel for how it's going and you can see if there's anything you can change to make it even more mobile friendly. The next place I want you to head over to is browserlab.adobe.com and Adobe offers this browser lab service that's free to get started. So you can actually just sign up for your free account. It's complimentary. So all you have to do is once you have your Adobe account, you'll want to log in. Once you're logged in, it's a lot like a regular browser. You would type in the URL that you want to go visit and then just hit this refresh button here. By default, it will pick a couple of different browsers that it will test. And as you can see here, some of them are on a Mac platform, some of them are on Windows. So you can see how all these different browsers operate. The other thing you can do is you can actually choose from this drop down section and add new browser sets. So let's say you want to test a different browser and a different platform. You could go ahead and add those and those will also be added as more options to take a look at. So you can also choose Internet Explorer 9, for example. So as you can see, this is what it would look like on a Windows machine. It really gives you a feel for how your fonts look, how the spacing looks, and it really allows you to test your website in different platforms and browsers. Next website we're gonna head over to is iPadPeak.com. And this is really an iPad simulator. And as you can see here, it really shows you a very similar interface as an iPad. And this is what the site looks like on an iPad and it will just give you an idea for what to expect or what other people might be experiencing when they go to your website on an iPad. And you can also click around and take a look at how things load up in here as well, which is really useful if you don't have an iPad or you just wanna test things before you make them live on your website. So that's all you have to do to test your website on different browsers, tablets, and mobile devices. And trust me when I say you really wanna do this, especially because more and more people are starting to browse websites on non-standard devices, so not just on computers. This has been Natalie Lucier. Please give this video a thumbs up on YouTube if you enjoyed it and if you got something out of it. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I've got more great tech and business strategy videos coming at you every single week and I wanna make sure that you don't miss any of them. You'll also wanna head over to gettechynow.com to further test your website and to get my eyes on your website and give you some advice that will really help you get more traffic, make more money, and just rock the internet. So thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next week.